Airless tires could revolutionize driving with their promise of no flats, less maintenance, and environmental benefits. Though challenges like heat management and ride comfort still need to be addressed. Companies like Michelin and Tesla are leading the charge, testing this innovative technology to see if it's ready to roll onto our roads. They say sliced bread is the best thing since… well, ever. But let's be honest, it's the wheel that truly deserves the crown. After all, without the wheel, that sliced bread would still be sitting in the oven, waiting for a ride to your local store. Now the next revolution, airless tires. Because why reinvent the wheel when you could just make it even better? Remember when you were a kid and your bike got a flat? Or maybe you've seen your parents wrestling with a tire change on the side of the road. Not exactly a fun time. And horror movies, they don't help the situation one bit. But what if I told you those days could soon be behind us? By the end of this video, we'll dive into why airless tires aren't yet rolling on every road. For airless tires to make sense, they need to be flexible, perform well, last long, be affordable, and not weigh a ton. So do they check all these boxes? Are we close to seeing them in action? Well, Michelin and Tesla might just be cooking up something exciting. So what exactly are airless tires? Well, they're pretty much what they sound like. Tires that don't need air. Instead of being hollow and filled with air like regular tires, airless tires are solid all the way through. But before you picture a ride so bumpy that it shakes loose your lunch or worse, yesterday's dinner, rest assured they have smoothed out the kinks. So no need to worry about reliving last night's spaghetti while you drive. So while these tires are made of special materials like super strong plastic and rubber, they also have a unique design with spokes that look kinda like a bicycle wheel. These spokes are flexible and can bend a little bit, which helps the tire absorb bumps and carry the weight of the vehicle. Ah. Imagine if you took a regular tire and filled it with a spongy material that was strong enough to hold up a car. That's kind of what an airless tire is like. The outer part is still made of rubber, so it can grip the road, but the inside is totally different. The cool thing is, because there's no air inside, you can't get a flat tire. So no more worrying about running over a nail or hitting a pothole and ending up stranded on the side of the road. You may be asking yourself, how do tires made of rubber and spongy material inside actually work? Isn't that some sort of nasty squishy business all the way to your workplace? Well folks, the secret is in the design of those spokes we talked about earlier. They're arranged in a special pattern that helps spread out the weight of the car evenly. Think about how a bridge is built. It has supports that help distribute the weight of all the cars driving over it. The spokes in an airless tire work in a similar way. They take the weight of the car and spread it out so that no single part of the tire is doing all the work. When you're driving, the bottom part of the tire squishes a little bit, just like a regular tire would. But instead of air pressure pushing back, it's the strength of the spokes that helps the tire keep its shape. One big difference between airless tires and regular tires is how they handle bumps. In a regular tire, the air inside acts like a cushion. In an airless tire, the flexible spokes do this job. They can bend and flex to absorb shocks from the road. Compared to regular tires, airless tires are much simpler. There's no need for a special air valve to check the air pressure. They're always at the right pressure because there's no air to leak out. Airless tires have some pretty cool advantages. First and most obvious, no more flat tires. Say goodbye to punctures, rain-soaked tire changes, and giving Jason Voorhees the perfect chance for a sneak attack. Safety and peace of mind all in one. These tires also need way less maintenance. You don't have to check the air pressure or add air. This means less time and money spent on taking care of your tires. Another big plus is that airless tires can help save fuel. <laughs> now you're pushing it. But it's true, regular tires can lose air over time, which makes your car work harder and use more gas. For your information, there are studies on this. Airless tires always keep their shape, so your car doesn't have to work as hard to move. Airless tires are also great for the environment. Is that a grin I see, <laughs> you green-thumbed eco-warrior? Think about all the tires that get thrown away because of punctures or uneven wear. With airless tires, there's less waste. Plus, some types of airless tires might even be recyclable in the future. Safety is another big advantage. Airless tires can suddenly lose pressure, which could cause an accident. They also work well in different weather conditions. Whether it's hot or cold, raining or snowing, airless tires keep on rolling without any changes in performance. You might be wondering, if airless tires are so great, why aren't they on every car? Well, they're not quite ready for regular cars yet, but they are being used in other places. The military loves airless tires because they can keep moving even if they're shot or damaged. 
This is super important in dangerous situations. You'll also find airless tires on some construction equipment. These machines are heavy and work in rough areas where regular tires might get punctured easily. If you've ever been golfing or seen someone mowing a big lawn, you might have spotted airless tires there too. Golf carts and lawnmowers often use them because they're durable and low maintenance. Even some bicycles are starting to use airless tires. Bike riders love that they never have to worry about getting a flat tire on their ride. While airless tires sound amazing, they're not perfect yet. But hey, nothing's ever been perfect, except maybe that holiday in the Bahamas. There are still some teething problems that need to be solved before we see them on all our cars. One big issue is heat. When you drive, your tires heat up from friction with the road. Regular tires use air to help get rid of this heat. Airless tires don't have air, so they can get hotter. This could cause problems on long drives or in hot weather. Another challenge is making the ride comfortable. Air in regular tires acts like a cushion, making bumps feel smoother. Engineers are working hard to make airless tires that give a smooth ride too, but it's tricky. Airless tires are also more expensive to make right now. This means they would cost more to buy, which is a problem for many people. Lastly, there are rules and regulations about what kinds of tires can be used on roads. Airless tires are so new that many of these rules don't cover them yet. This means it might take some time before they're allowed on all cars. They say Tesla and Elon Elon Musk always have something revolutionary up their sleeves, and this time, it might just involve airless tires. Rechargeable tires for the Cybertruck? Not quite. French tire giant Michelin has been leading the charge to bring airless tires to passenger cars. According to a report from Not A Tesla app, Michelin has confirmed it's in talks with Tesla to test its airless Optus tires. Michelin previously tested these tires on the Chevy Bolt EV, and back in 2019, they aimed to bring this technology to consumers by 2024. We're already in 2024. It looks like the future might just be rolling in on airless wheels. But will they weigh a ton and cost an arm and a leg? We'll just have to wait and see. However, the smart money is on something that makes business sense, which means we have every reason to be excited. So what would airless tires mean for you and me? Well, there could be some pretty cool benefits. First, we might save money in the long run. Even if airless tires cost more at first, we wouldn't have to replace them as often or pay for flat tire repairs. It would also be super convenient. No more changing tires in the rain or waiting for roadside assistance. For us who care about the environment, airless tires could be a great choice. They could help reduce waste and maybe even be recyclable. While there are still some challenges to overcome, the future of airless tires looks bright. They could make our drives safer, our vehicles more efficient, and our planet a little bit cleaner. What do you think about airless tire technology? Will you be grabbing a set when they hit the market? Let us know in the comments, and as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. See you in the next video.